What the hell? What the hell is going on here? Guys, check this out. Just imagine being in this position. You know, that's the reason why when men talk about paternity test, a lot of women are so agitated. They start fighting. They start beating. You know, they start just being so hungry for nothing because of paternity test. What is the hell? This popular former Nigerian footballer recently discovered that his theory kids are not his. Recently discovered that his theory kids are not his. Larry Kayode. According to Easter Blood, they say footballer Kayode, uh, Kayode accused his wife of fraud, cheating on him uh, with Pastor Toby, stealing his two Mercedes SUV to finance Pastor Toby lifestyle and adopting their children. He also claimed that he still kids with this woman. He just recently discovered that none of them is his. Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. We have seen crazy story about this before. It's not the first person, and I don't think he's ever going to be the last person, except if there is a mandatory, mandatory policy for a DNA. And also, if those such DNA are affordable for the masses. For instance, if the world WHO decide to make DNA compulsory and affordable for the masses, I think if they can put DNA tests for like 50,000 Naira, 100,000 Naira, a lot of people will want, willingly want to do DNA test. WHO or every government in every country need to look into this in order for a man not to take care of an illegitimate child. It is painful taking care of an illegitimate child, paying school fees, doing all sorts of things for years, and then later discovering that such child is not yours. How you will feel? How will you feel, guys? Be honest. How will you feel? How will you feel? The guy said all oh, those children are not his. None, no one, three kids, none is his. <laughs> well, ah, uh, women. You know, when our fathers told us that it's only a woman, they usually ask, who is the father of this child? You cannot ask a man, who is the father of the child? It's only a woman that knows the father of a child. And you cannot ask a mother who is the mother of the child. Because a mother will carry in his own child. If he said, I am the mother of the child, there is no need to question it. You know why? Because she gave birth to that child. But they do question the paternity of a man because a man cannot give birth. That's why they're easily asked, are you sure you are the father of this baby? You, you, you don't ask the mother. Are you sure you are the mother of this baby? Mother that carried their baby for nine months, give birth to her, asking her if she is sure if she's the mother? Come on. It's only on real condition where hospital and sister change babies or something, something happened. Real conditions. It's crazy, man. According to the woman, why defending herself? She said, Honestly, I am so tired of this man nonsense. And he has to stop now. I knew he was not mentally stable when he picked out a knife on me some months ago. But to go as far as ruining, ruining the lives of innocent kids is way too far. Kayode, I didn't think you would go that low. I kept quiet on all the rumors you have been spreading because 
they are baseless, childless and false. But you include innocent children. No, now I must speak. I have never sold any of my properties or cars and given to uh, give and giving the proceeds to any pastor, bishop, or imam in this world. In fact, all the rumors this mentally disturbed young man Kayode is sharing online are false. The last couple of years in this marriage has been like hell on earth. I am so drained, in pain, and I just honestly pray this ordain is all over soon. I do not wish this kind of abuse and oppression on any woman anywhere in the world. If your story is similar to mine, run away from that man. Leave that marriage. You are not stuck. And I pray that God will heal you and send you helper. You he help her your way like he has to me. So that's the woman responding. She says she have not sold any of her property. Ah! That's why, that means the man was right when the man said she has taken over my property. Now the woman called the, called the man property, her property. Ah! Buyer. Yeah. But they are both husband and wife though. So all those people who share, okay, let me not go there. Let me not just go there. Let's talk about Peace Square Okoye. You guys should allow Peace Square Paul Okoye to enjoy his life. Allow him to enjoy his life. He just recently got married and a lot of Nigerians are pained about it. Happa now. Alara now. According to this guy, he said, everyone really thought she was going to be smart enough to chop and clean out. At 25 years old, with a 40 years old plus divorced man with kids that can't even give you and your family the courtesy of dropping his phone for a few moments. Godspeed, darling. <laughs> the guy said, how can a 25 years old lady settle with a 40 plus old Paul Okoye with three kids divorced who does not even have respect to drop his phone? Why pay for a bright price? That's the video, you know. He was still play with her. But you can see every of the rights were done. Everything was done now. People that were just taking pictures. That was where you see, you saw him touching his phone. There was nothing wrong. Why didn't you talk about the time he knelt down to collect uh, Kulanot and prayers? How about now? Allow this man to enjoy himself. Ha <laughs> ha! Allow the man to enjoy himself. He has, he can take care of a woman. I am not the kind of person that believes in monogamy. I have said it before on numerous occasions. I don't believe in monogamy. Allow the guy to enjoy his life. Allow Peace Square Paul Okoye to enjoy his life. The guy made a choice and our family are very, very happy. In fact, they are happy that he, uh, he find, is he uh, Ivy? He find Ivy. I think, is he a former? He former Ivy. He former Ivy brought big fish home. Uh-uh. Ababola, now he bring commas. Big fish, now he bring commas. Why young young girls go outside? They catch they, they catch like, uh, they catch biscuit bone. They catch uh, pala fish. They catch uh, uh, crayfish. This guy went to catch a big tilapia, big catfish, eh? Big croaker, croaker that was overly matured. Now she went out there to catch. And her family is so happy. And you know he bought Brad Price. They go to him up like this. Peace square, brother. No. Instead of a three carton of oil, they will make her a 50 carton of oil. Instead of a broom or cement, there are some Brad Price that include cement as well. Instead of cement, they'll tell her, say, you have to complete this our father's house first before you can marry. Yes, now. Big fish. <laughs> if that maybe the papa that we tell her, I don't say peace square. You have been chopping my daughter for a long time. You never come to me. Come, uh, came to me. Firstly, before you talk, you will complete this my house for me to complete another ten million naira and a big fish now. Big fish will drop out. 
uh, informer went out there to catch big fish. Guess me, they still go out there, go catch pala, uh, biscuit bones, crayfish. They get my talk. How about now? <laughs> allow men, allow the men with big fish to talk. Allow the women with big fish to talk. Stop being jealous. Abba. <laughs>